Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, the Viking here of course. Got some Jarlello quotes for you guys today regarding the air cut, the Snyder cut and of course the Joker. So let's get into it. So this is David Ayer talking about the air cut of Suicide Squad which he had so many scenes cut from it and David Ayer was kind of, you know, messed with big time. This is what he said. I would love for him to be able to work on that and make the film of his dreams. Leto said about the air cut. It's always hard when you make these movies because it's such a pressure cooker. There are so many decisions that have to be made in a short amount of time. My hat's off to the directors, the producers and the studios. It's not easy. So Jared not throwing anyone under the bus there. In 2016 he was pretty pissed off that so many scenes were cut from the Suicide Squad film. You know, it's like only 8 minutes of an extended cameo. Bit of a joke for such a great actor and such a great character. But yeah, it's good that he's, he wants Air to finally complete his vision. This is what he also had to say. You never start with something that's perfect. It's a race to try and make it as good as you can in a short amount of time. And having another swing at things, I'm sure we can all use that. You know, so that's pretty cool as well. So I need a crack at it. Like for David Ayer to go back and to maybe add some scenes. Like, like Zack Snyder got to do some additional photography. So why can't David Ayer do the same thing with Joker or Harley Quinn or Deadshot or whatever? You know, that would be pretty cool as well if the air cut is announced. He also said... It's very hard to say no. And that, that's in terms to this character, the Joker. So we know we get to see him in Zack Snyder's Justice League in March. But what's the possibilities of Joker returning in a bigger plan for the future? Now I did a video a few days ago about Jarlow wants to do a Robin series or movie. And when I say Robin, I mean centered around that debt of that character. Which would be pretty interesting and pretty cool. There, Those are some rumours that's out there right now. But do I think we'll get more Jared Leto after March? I think we do. I think we will because the character is so big and the actor really wants to portray the character again. And this is what Jared Leto had to say about Zack Snyder's Just League. He was asked, are you in it? He goes, I may or may not be in this. I've heard the rumours too. We'll have to let Zack confirm or deny that one. So look, that was something that Zack never wanted to get out. He wanted to keep that Joker cameo or scene a secret. And you know what? It would have been cool to be watching the Snyder Cut and then Jared Leto's Joker pops up. That would have been pretty awesome. And the internet would have exploded big time. But of course, these things are hard to keep hush hush. And it got out there. But Jared not fully confirming it. Zack, of course, is confirmed now because it got out there. But it's going to be pretty cool to see Jared Leto back. A new style, a new look as well. Maybe a different kind of interpretation of the character in the Nightmare timeline. Working with Batman, the Justice League and Deathstroke. It's going to be pretty cool to see that. And... Look, it's the most Google thing around the Snyder Cut is Jared Leto's Joker. So it just shows you how much of an online popularity this actor in this role can cause for anything. So that's pretty cool also. So this is also what he had to say. Like, he talks about Zack Snyder very positively. And many people do. It's very hard for people to bash Zack Snyder who've worked with him because he seems like a pretty nice guy. So this is what Jared had to say. I may or may not have shot something with Zack, but I love him. He's just a maverick and an incredible filmmaker. We get along great and have great chemistry. I look forward to working with him again in the future. We have a lot up our sleeves, Zack and I. So again, praising Zack as a filmmaker and as a person that have great chemistry. So they have something up their sleeves. Will they work together in the future? Now, is this just a HBO Max movie or series for Jared Leto's Joker? Is this them working on the air cut with David Ayer? Is this this Black Batflex series? Is it the Deathstroke series? What exactly is this going forward? Or is it Justice League Part 2? All very interesting stuff. Here's some more quotes from Jared Leto about the Joker. I think that he's a shaman. I think he's in touch with the universe. He's got a power that is very, very seductive. So anytime I hear Jared talk about the Joker, it's very fascinating because it seems like he really understands the character. And it seems like he put a lot of thought into the character when he was portraying Joker in 2016. But of course, that was taken away from him big time. You know, a lot of scenes were cut and a lot of controversy over the violence between Harley Quinn and Joker. But that's a lot of what their relationship is. You know, I... I I, that stuff never really stuck with me. Maybe different perspectives and things like that. But I still want to see how the relationship was explored with David Ayer. And I'm sure it's not as bad as people make out that it is. The Joker is great because he says whatever is on his mind. His subtext is on the outside. And for him, manipulation is a really good 
time. He loves to strike a chord of fear and uncertainty in people and he loves to make himself laugh. So just showing again how much he knows of the Joker and what the Joker really stands for manipulation and that's something that I kind of gather off Jared Leto's Joker it's a very seductive character a very seductive sexy Joker you know by the way that the Joker carries himself the way he is around people he has this kind of power over people like that scene in Suicide Squad where the guy is on the chair and he, he just kind of hops onto the guy on the chair and he's kind of holding him his face and things like that you know there's something very sexy about it or manipulated about it, that he wants he, and he has that power to make people do what he wants you know it's really like he's so seductive that people really can't say no to him it's more of the seductive thing that really gets people than the fear so that's something that's pretty interesting i'd love to see more in the air cut but i'm fascinated how different jarlow's joke will be in Zack Snyder's just league in march because of the look and maybe his character has changed as well because this of course is in the future so this is what Jared also had to say about the Suicide Squad. There are very few characters that you play that have absolutely no rules, you know, that you could just go to town. Sparma reminds me a little bit of that character as well in that he's just a little outside the box. He's someone who says everything that he thinks, basically, and he always is surprising. He's very playful, and I found him actually quite funny as well so that's Jared Leto having similarities with his Joker character they played in Suicide Squad but also with the new character he's playing in the upcoming movie which will have um, Denzel Washington and the trailer for that looks pretty it looks like a pretty good movie I think that's going to be on HBO Max at the end of January early February it looks like a, an Oscar maybe movie I don't know just got great actors in it and it looks like a really um interesting story about a serial killer and murders and stuff like that definitely check out the trailer if you have not looks pretty good but again Jared just loves talking about the joker and for him to come back in march is gonna be great and i can't wait i'm a big advocate of Jared Leto's joker i think he gets a lot of hate for no reason whatsoever how can you really judge his character when all it was was really an extended cameo with bits chopped out here and there and his character never really got to develop so i'm hurt i'm hoping and i probably i'm confident that Zack snyder has a really cool scene for Jared Leto in the Snyder Cut. Because Jared wouldn't come back either way unless it was cool. This is what he also had to say about the Joker's motivations. I think the Joker is inflicting upon the world the pain that has been inflicted upon him. In a sense, there's some sort of revenge there. So this Joker character is very troubled. Has a lot of depth. And I love that scene, that still image that we never got to see in Suicide Squad 2016. Where Jared's Joker looks like he's about to cry. You know that kind of image and tears in his eyes. So I think this character is probably a lot human. Maybe, maybe, maybe many people could relate to that character a lot more than you actually think. But he's inflicting that pain that he's gathered himself through his life onto others. And it's a revenge in the world. You know maybe he's jealous of Batman. Maybe he's jealous of the Robin which led him to kill Robin. Having that relationship with Batman. Someone who loves him. You know, something that he doesn't have. That could be some fucked up way that Jarlow's Joker thinks. And that's something that we haven't really got to see yet at all. You know, Jarlow's Joker appeared in Suicide Squad, but did he really appear in Suicide Squad? Did we really get to see this character in full flow? I hope the air cut gets released. I hope they can add extra scenes into that movie. And I hope his performance in Zack Snyder's Justice League will warrant people wanting more from Jarlow in the role. You know, he's a type of... I think he's going to be the first ever actor to portray the Joker in more than one movie, which is pretty awesome. And he looks like a Joker that could pretty much handle himself. I'm eager to see that scene where he kills Robin. And Batfleck is so demented with anger that he beats the shit out of Joker, knocks his teeth out of his mouth and leaves him for dead. I want to see that scene. It sounds badass. It sounds cool. I want to see more of the interaction between Harley Quinn and Joker. I want to see Joker working with the Justice League in some capacity. These are things I want to see, and some of them we will get to see. So I'm glad Jared, o Jared Leto was getting another shot at the Joker big time. An Oscar winning actor, a great actor with a great character. And I'm looking forward to that big time. Will we get to see him in some action scenes? That would be pretty cool as well. We haven't really got to see the Joker in action uh, scenes. So that would be awesome. But guys, what do you think of Jared Leto's comments about the air cut? About the Snyder cut? And also about the Joker as a whole. Pretty interesting stuff. And I love when he expresses his opinion on that character. And hopefully he does more interviews for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Guys, give a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for being a subscriber. 
until next time guys enjoy your day enjoy your life you only get one do something that makes you happy and don't listen to the naysayers